The Restrict Permission feature allows you to control what a user cannot do to your email message. For example, you can restrict them from forwarding the message on to somebody else, or, on top of that, prevent them from printing or copying the content of your email messages. To set this up, go ahead and click on the New Mail Message button. On the Message tab over in the Options group, you can do one of two things. You can either click on the Permissions button, which will restrict all those three that I just mentioned from forwarding, copying, and printing the content of your message, or if you just want to prevent them from forwarding your message, click on the drop-down arrow and select Do Not Forward. I'm going to go ahead and apply all three restrictions by clicking on the Permissions button. Now, if this is the first time you're doing it, in order to use this feature, you and the user that you want to send this message to have to sign up for the free trial service from Microsoft, which includes signing up for a .NET Passport. In other words, follow the instructions that you see here, and once you're finished, then you can go ahead and send this off to the person with those restricted permissions. So do you want to sign up for this trial service? I'll say yes and click Next. Do you have a Windows Live ID? If not, then go ahead and select No and the wizard will help you set one up. Basically it's your email address and your first and last name. I already have one so I'll say yes and click Next. Again, if not, follow the directions, it'll walk you through it. Like I said, it's going to be your email address, your name, and of course a password. Let me go ahead and type that in. When I'm finished, I'll go ahead and click on Sign In. Now it's going to ask you, are you using a private or public computer? If it's a public computer, then select this option, and this will allow you to use your Windows Live ID to create or use rights-protected content for a limited time. And then, of course, be sure to log off when you've finished using this computer, otherwise other people may have access to your restricted permissions here. So I'm using a private computer that only I can log into and control. I'll select that and click I Accept. Give it a second or two while it uh, installs and configures your rights management on your computer, and then click Finish. Once it's completed, it says select one of the following user accounts to create or open content with restricted permissions. Of course, I'm going to use the one that I just set up here, and then click OK. Notice up in the info bar it says that, do not forward, recipients can read this message but cannot forward, print, or copy the content. Then, of course, go ahead and address it to whoever put in the subject, the message, and when you're finished, go ahead and click Send. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here without saving it, show you what it looks like when you receive a restricted permissions email. I'm going to come up here and click on the Send and Receive button. And there you can see right there the message with the restricted permission symbol on top of it. Go ahead and double click to open it up. It says here in order to view this message, you have to have a Windows Live ID account. Do you want to go ahead and use this service? If you click yes, then you can go ahead and sign up for one if you haven't signed up for one already. That's why it's important that the person you're sending the restricted permissions message to also has a Windows Live ID account. I'll go ahead and say yes, and then go ahead and follow all the steps here. Yes, I do want to sign up for this account and click next. I already have a Windows Live ID. Click next, and then I can go ahead and sign in. It's kkershotvideotrainingpro.com. My password and then sign in. Again, you're going through the same steps. Is this a private or public computer? It's private. I'll accept. Once it's finished connecting, go ahead and click Finish. Give it a second. It gives us the second step here that says, OK, you do have access to view this email, but it is restricted. We'll go ahead and click OK. Opens it up. It tells us up in the info bar that the recipients, which is me, can read this message but can't forward it, print it, or copy the content. Well, let's see if it works. Let me go ahead and select some content, and right click on it. Can't copy it. Let me see if I can go ahead and print it. Click on the office logo button down to print. Can't do that. Let me go ahead and see if I can forward No, I can't even forward it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.